Hello, Carla from Scrap and Create. We are now on page seven of Little Things. So get out your pocket page that you made. Uh, remember, this is all black construction, uh, black uh, cardstock. I'm just using these colored papers for demonstration purposes. So here's page seven, and here's the spine. So that's the orientation for this page. So let's see what we're going to build first. So here we have two flaps, a flap here and a flap here. Each of these flaps is going to have a pocket and then you're going to have these two flaps here above the pocket. And these flaps are going to be held down by a little card that inserts into these pockets. And then you're going to open up the two flaps. You're going to have a belly band here and within the belly band, you're going to make a little booklet, something like this, that fits underneath the belly band. So hopefully not too complicated. So let's get started. So let me move this out of the way. So first thing you're going to do, you are going to find the center of your page seven. So remember this is nine and a half inches wide in this direction. So you're gonna put a tick mark at four and three quarters, which is going to be the middle, both the top and the bottom. Then, like we've done before, you're going to mark a half an inch here, half an inch here, and then you're going to, or at least I do, I draw a line to connect those two half an inch tick marks here. And same thing, half an inch here, half an inch here, and then you connect those two half an inch tick marks. So that's the start. So what you're going to do, we are going to add some designer paper to these half an inch spaces here. So you're going to get this paper, make sure the ovals are going in this direction also, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adhering them here and here. So I cut some paper, which is not the designer paper, but you cut the designer paper. It's going to be a half an inch wide by seven and three eighths inches tall. So you'll cut two of those from this paper. And like before, you're going to adhere them down on both sides. So go ahead and do that. So once you have those two oval half inch strips laid down on both sides on your base page, what you're going to do is you're going to make our two flaps. Both of them are four and a half inches wide, four and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. Then you're going to score it here. Going to score it, fold, burnish, add your score tape. So you're gonna have one flap that's going to fit over here and then this other flap is going to fit over here. Now the way these are going to be adhered is you are going to go to that half inch tick mark like you've done before and you are going to line it up at that half inch tick mark on both sides. Make sure your flap is even with the top and bottom of your pay of your base page and you're just going to pull the score tape. Okay. 
And then you'll just do that with the other one too. Line it up. It sure is easier to see when everything has different colors. Black on black, I can never see. Um, Remember, this is all black construct, um, black cardstock. These these two flaps are black cardstock. So there. So you got those two flaps in, and hopefully, this half inch, this this tick mark right in the middle of your base page, that should be the center, and these two flaps should be basically showing you that is the center. So you got your two flaps in. Where is my, boop, boop. let's burnish that down a little bit. Next, you are going to cut a piece, this is your black cardstock again, to make a belly band. So this belly band is three inches wide eight and a half inches tall and then you're going to to score it a half an inch here half an inch on the top and a half an inch on the bottom score fold burnish and add your score tape you're going to find the center of your belly band which is this is three inches that's one and a half inches one and a half inches here one and a half inches here. You're going to align the center of the belly band with the center of your page here. And the center of your page down here. Dry fit this before you put it in to make sure it fits. It should fit. And then you can go ahead and pull one at a time if you like. Um, let, me, let me turn this around so I can see it better. So line that up and I'll pull, let's see, is that, yep, I'm going to pull this one. Should use my pick tool. Oh my gosh. So that one's down and then line this bottom part up and pull this one. So now you have your flaps and your belly band in. Okay, so we're ready to put in our flaps up here. So we have two flaps that fold up. So the this flap, which I'm going to call our bottom flap, um, you're going to cut two pieces. They're both going to be four inches wide by four and one eighth inches tall. Four inches wide by four and one eighth inches tall. So, <laughs> because I screwed up on this already, because these are so close to each other. Once I, I knew this was my four inch, and then this one is four and one eighth, so real close together, what I did with the four and one eighth, I knew this was, this is going to be my tall side for me, I went ahead, I know I'm gonna notch the edges of the bottom of the flap here. So I went ahead and got my my We Are Memory Keepers scallop punch. You can use a, uh, a corner rounder if you want. I just went ahead and made my notches down here. That way I know that is the bottom and I don't screw myself up and I'm going to go ahead and score a half an inch up here. So this is my four inch wide, four and a half inches tall. I'm going to make sure I got my scallop in there. 
do those. And then, then I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. Like I said, I'm doing this because I screwed up. So I know this is my bottom, so I'm going to score it half an inch here. Here's my bottom. I'm going to score it a half an inch here. Just because those are so close in measurements to each other. Then fold and burnish. And add your score tape. Um, where is my score tape? I'm just using quarter inch score tape just because I don't want to waste my three eighths of an inch, but you should be using your three eighths of an inch and burnish those. So then we are going to adhere these. So you're going to go to the top of the of each of these flaps and you're going to adhere those so just go ahead and line it up and for some reason I can't see and I remember that this is all black cardstock using my colors so we can see better. And then just pull, get that one down. Same thing, I get this one started. Get this one down. Oops, make sure it's straight. And pull. So we have this bottom flap in, and we know we know we got it in the right way. Okay. So now we're going to make two top flaps that are going to go on top of this. They're going to cut two pieces that are three and a half inches wide by three and seven eighths inches tall. So three and a half inches wide by three and seven eighths inches tall. So this is the bottom. You can go ahead and use your corner rounder or your scallop punch. So that's going to be the bottom. And I know I'm going to score a half an inch here at the top on both of them. I'm going to hold, burnish, get a good crease there. Remember, these are black cardstock. Add your three eighths of an inch or tape now what you're going to do with these you're going to find the center of your 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 flap that you just put in so we know this is four inches so find the center which is going to be two inches Two inches and two inches. Then you're going to find this the center of your top flap that you just made. This is three and a half inches wide, so it's going to be one and 
three quarters, one and a half, one and three quarters. And one and three quarters. And then you're just going to match up your, your center marks here. Here's the center of the bottom flap, the center of the top flap. You just line them up, edge to edge up here, and pull. And the same thing on the other side. Line, let me get this one started. So it's easier to get it started. If I can see it. So three and a half inch, three, three and a half, one and three quarters inches. So we got middle center to center and pull. So now you have your two, so now you have your two flaps in. So next, and make sure you burnish down here, get everything adhered. Two flaps are in, now we're going to make the bottom pocket. So you have your two flaps in, and now uh, we're going to put in the pockets, but before we make, we make and put in our, our bottom pockets, you need to add some designer paper. So at the bottom of these flaps, you're going to cut a half an inch strip from your yellow paper. So any scraps that you have, just find a scrap of this solid, you want the solid yellow part. You are going to cut a piece, two pieces, half an inch wide, by three and seven eighths inches long because this is a four inch flap. And you're going to adhere them one sixteenth of an inch reveal all the way around. So you're gonna adhere them down here. So you're gonna do that with both your flaps. You're going to get those in. And then for the rest of this paper, you are going to want to adhere designer paper for the rest of this flap before we put in our pockets. So let me just show you with this piece. So here's our flaps. We got our flaps in. Have not put in our pocket. So here is that yellow strip you can kind of see the yellow strip down here. Here's the pocket, but we want to put this designer paper in to cover up this, to cover up the whole flap before we put in our pocket. So this is from the eight by eight collection. That paper that's going to be adhering to the entire back Part of the flap on top of the flap except for that half an inch strip of the yellow solid paper. So you're going to cut this piece out. out. Now mine is around three and seven eighths inches wide and um, about six and seven eighths inches tall but you measure yours once you get in your yellow strip down here so you're going to ink ink those put those in so then get that done and then come back and we'll work on our pocket okay so you have your yellow solid strips down here you have that designer paper um, all through here so next, we are going to add our pockets. So you're gonna make two pieces, four and a half inches wide, four and a half inches wide by four inches tall. And then you're going to score it on th 
you know, on, on three ends. So you're going to have a three and a half inch wide pocket. Oh, is that so? It's three and a half inch wide pocket, and it's actually a three and a half tall pocket. So that should be your pocket. So you're going to score it, fold, burnish. You're going to add your score tape and you're going to miter the corners. Make sure you miter those corners. You don't want any bulk in those corners. And you want to miter the top of the pocket. So whatever we put in there goes in easier. So then you're going to find the center of your pockets. Um, center of your pocket and the center of your flap down here. Remember, this is a four inch flap. So find your center of your flap, center of your pocket and dry fit it to make sure it is centered. It may need to be moved just a tad. That looks okay there. And then you're going to have just a little bit of that yellow reveal. I already attached this one. There's just a little bit of yellow reveal here. It's centered, a little bit of yellow reveal. Center this one. Make sure it looks okay. You may need to adjust it a little bit. A little bit of yellow reveal and pull the tape. And let's check that looks that looks okay. I didn't do it perfect. This one's a little off, but you do it perfect. This one's just a itty witty bitty off. But you you dry fit it. This one looks pretty good. My computer just went off there. Okay. Not sure what happened. Okay. So once you get those in and they're centered, go ahead and add your black construction tape or your scotch tape. So you don't have anything bumping into these edges down here. Got that one in, and then you can go ahead and pull the sides of your pocket and get your pockets in. I hope this is helping you having these different colors so you can actually see what's going on. Actually, it's hard for me to make videos black on black because um, I need to, I just can't see. And there, so our pockets are in. Our flaps are here. You should have a little bit of space in between here. Now, what we need to do is create these inserts that are going to go into our pocket to hold our flaps down. Oops, what is, what is, there it is. So we're going to create these two inserts. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut two pieces. We're going to make these tags, two tags, six and three quarters inches tall six and three quarter inches tall by three and one sixteenth inch wide. Okay, and then you're going to round the corners at the bottom of your tag. And I use the scallop punch for the top part. So those, you're gonna make two of those and those are going to be your tags that go into that pocket and they're going to hold your flaps down. Okay, let's see. So where are we? Got our 
our flaps in, our pocket in. We made our, our tag insert. Open this up, and now we're going to work on the inside. So we're going to have two stripes on this back flat area back here. So these stripes are going to be from the 8x8 collection, this, this um, oval paper. You're going to have you, the direction of the ovals going in this direction horizontally. And they're going to look like this. Let me just show you what they're going to look like. So here's the back side. Here's your belly band. So you're going to have one here and one here. So these are going to be five. Here's just some scrap paper I'm using to show you. Five, five eighths of an inch wide by seven and three eighths tall. And you're just going to put them here. Just be mindful of the hinge here. Put that there on one side. And the other one on this side. Make sure you ink the edges. And then we'll be right back. So pretend that was this paper. So we got those stripes in on the back side. And then you're going to go to these flaps. On each side of these two flaps, you're going to have a thin strip of this same paper with the ovals going in the same direction. But this time, it's going to be 3 eighths of an inch wide. This was 5 eighths. This is 3 eighths. So I think I cut mine, yeah. So pretend this is the paper, three eighths of an inch wide by seven and three, seven and three eighths inches long. So we're going to, you're going to ink that and put that on the side of the flap. So I'm just gonna use my glue just to get it down. So you're going to put that oval red paper from the 8x8 collection down. Got your strip there. And same thing, you're going to put this strip. So you got your 3 eighths of an inch strip here on each side of your flaps. Now on these flaps, we're going to be adding magnets, the small basic gray magnets. So where you're going to put your magnets, you are going to measure 3 eighths of an inch in from where this strip is. So you put your strip in, Measure three eighths of an inch in and then a half an inch down from the top. Three eighths of an inch in from this strip, half an inch down. That's where your magnet's going to be. Same thing here. Three eighths of an inch in from this strip, a half an inch up. So that's where our magnet's going to be. There and there. Going to put your magnets there like you normally do, and then you're going to transfer them to the belly band. So I'm just going to see if I can just show a trans if this will got some see if this will show the yellow on the belly band where they're going to go. So yeah, but here they are. So there and there. So that's about where your magnet should transfer on your belly band. Now you're going to be doing that for both sides. 
So you're going to put your magnets here and here. Same thing, 3 8 of an inch in, half an inch down, 3 8 of an inch in, half an inch down. Put them in and then transfer its um, the corresponding magnet to the belly band and put it down. And then you're going to have your magnets on the belly band somewhere around here and here. So get your magnets in so we don't have to worry about them. So get your magnets in, transfer them. Um, it's mate to the belly band, and then we can cover up this flap with designer paper, this flap with designer paper, and the belly band with designer paper. So now, now that you have your magnets in and they've You've transferred it to your belly band. You can add your designer paper to your belly band, which is this oval paper. Now here, this is going to be going in this direction. These are the big old blue ovals. So you're going to be adhering it in this direction. So just measure this out. This is three inches, so it's gonna be two and seven eight inches wide by the same thing what this is oh my gosh i can never is this six, seven and a half inches tall yes so it's going to be seven and three eighths inches tall you're going to ink that cover up your belly band you've covered up your magnets here's your magnets they're they're covered up now then you're going to get this paper the forget me not this is from the eight by eight. This is the back side of this paper. You're going to figure out how much you need to cover, cover up the remaining part of this flap. Mine is basically, it looks like three and three and a half inches wide, but you measure yours. So, and then it's going to be the same seven and three eighths inches tall. And that way you've covered up, you should have been able to cover up your magnets here and here. Make sure you leave space for the hinge here. Get that paper down on that flap. Get this paper down on this flap. And now you've got the flaps all done. Your magnets are all covered. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to be measuring from this strip to this strip to see what size of paper you need to put under here. Okay, so I got a, a clean sheet of paper, a card stock. So you're going to be using, remember, the designer paper from the 8x8 collection. And the way you're going to measure it is you just put it in and you just get your black reveal on this side, get your black reveal on this side. I put a little tick mark. You can see my little tick mark. And then I just cut it. And then my, my height is going to be seven and three eighths inches tall. Then what I do, and if you use glue, you're gonna do it differently. I put my, you're gonna well, dry fit it first, make sure it fits in there. It goes, slides under the belly band. You have the reveal you like, looks good. And then what I did is I had just put score tape And this was the back side of your designer paper. I put score tape from here to here and down here, here to here and down here. So when I put it underneath my belly band, I got it where I want it. I just reached in and grab my score tape, pull it. I just reach in, pull it. It's gonna be adhered down here then go over to this side, pull the score tape, 
and it's going to be on uh, here on this side. So now you have your total thing on the inside is covered. The next is just doing your flaps. I use the green dotted paper here. Um, the top flaps, this is from the 12 by 12. On the back side, I just used the blue solid. So you just cut it to size. Make sure you get your notches in there if you did use the scallop punch. Then I used the yellow paper with the little hearts. This is from the 8x8 collection. Um, the second the second flap, the bottom flap on the top and on the back, I used the red solid. So just cut those, fit them, make sure you use your scallop punch. So those flaps will be done. For the pocket, I used the large heart. The same large heart we used on this page, just opposite. So this was page six. So on page six, we use the large hearts. Here we're going to use the large hearts to cover our pocket. So get those inked, inked and adhered. And then it's just decorating your tags. So for the tags, I used this, this card from, I'm not sure, is that from, this must be from the 8x8. Most, both of these must be from the 8x8. And I just kind of cut them down to size, notched them at the top. And then I just added um, a backside of a journaling card to fit underneath it. I used the, I used the same one, and I'm not sure which one it is because I can't see underneath it. But those are the two I used. So you can just kind of see how I did those. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. That's what I did. The back, I haven't put anything on it. And then those will just fit in here. And then you're going to be done with this paper, with this page. The only other thing I did is I added this little You Are My Sunshine in the center of my belly band. So when you close your flaps, you are seeing this red, red piece that kind of pops out. Otherwise, it's just this blue streak all the way down of the ovals. So that's it for page seven.